Ezekiel chapter 23 verse 37 that they have committed adultery and blood is in their hands and with their hiders have they committed adultery and have also caused their sons whom they bear unto me to pass for them through the fire to defraud them. This scripture is a warning against spiritual adultery. Because of the spiritual adultery of the people of Israel, God allowed their enemies to overcome them. Because of the spiritual adulteries of the children of Israel, God became their enemy. Because of the spiritual adultery of the children of Israel, God allowed the people of Babylon to hold them into captivity. What is spiritual adultery? Spiritual adultery is prostituting with the gods and idols of the land. Spiritual adultery is disobeying the commandment of God, which says you shall have no other God besides me. Spiritual adultery is bowing down to Satan. Spiritual adultery is going to church during the day and visiting evil priests at night. Spiritual adultery for a Christian is indulging in evil consultations, consulting sorcerers, enchanters, just because you think God cannot answer your prayers or there is a delay in your prayers getting answered. Spiritual adultery provokes the anger of God. We serve a generous God. Spiritual adultery is a grievous sin. God hates idolaters with perfect hatred. And the Spirit of God is warning you today not to indulge in spiritual adultery. God does not have mercy on those people that commit spiritual adultery. Spiritual adultery provokes causes. It provokes causes, divine causes. Serve God with all your heart. Serve God with all your talents. Separate yourself from every evil satanic traditions in your family. Refuse to bow down for Satan, for status, for money, or for pollution. As you decide to serve God with all your heart, with all your time, with all your talent, God shall meet you at the point of your need and you shall not fall from grace to grass. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.